And welcome back. Comedian Jackie Fabulous is gracing the Blue Room Comedy Stage this weekend, and she joins us now via Zoom. Jackie, how are you? Happy Super Bowl, as you know, <laughs> Thank you, thank you. Well, thanks for joining us. So, Jackie, let's start with this. Tell us a little bit about your comedy style for those that may be unfamiliar with you. Uh, my comedy style is all about relatability. I talk about what it's like to be a woman, to not be a size 8, 10, 12, or 14, to be over 40, <laughs> to starting a new career at age 35. I just got married for the second time in September. So it's a lot going. I moved back to New York after being in California for 20 years. A lot about change, and you're never too old to have a huge, sometimes really stupid change in your life. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, I love that. Also, congrats on your uh, congrats on your wedding. So, Thank Jackie, you. tell us this: How did you get into comedy originally? Boredom, boredom, and last resort. I had. I've always had the good corporate jobs, and I hated all of them. And I was a funny girl at work. And one girlfriend told me, you know what, you should try a comedy uh, comedy writing class. So in the early 2000s, I took a writing class after work. And for the, after six weeks of that class, I had my first show at the Hollywood Improv in like 2005-ish. And everyone on the show, my teacher, teacher included, was like, this is what you're good at. Whatever else you're doing, Please stop. This I is was what you have to say. Did, did it that. feel like it came, did performing come easy to you? Like, do you feel like the class really helped you? Or once you got into doing it, was, was it just kind of like, yeah, I was made for this? <laughs> you know, I think it's kind of like when parents notice you have like a rambunctious, chatty child, you know, it's not always because they're like misbehaving. They have something inside of them that they don't know about yet. Mm -hmm. So I was always extroverted, but not obnoxious. A class clown, but not always on. So someone saw that in me who was not my parent or my relative and told me, channel all the energy you have into, you know, being funny professionally. And I did it for a long time after work. I didn't quit work and then go to stand up. I did both at the same time for a while. So it was easy because I, I had an aptitude for performing, but I realized that at work is not always appropriate. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good realization to yes, have. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Now, Jackie, you know, a lot of people might recognize you from your recent stint on America's Got Talent. So what was that experience like for you? That was that was fun. I'm not going to lie. I was kind of like, I don't know if I can do this again. It was so much of my life the first time around. But I also remember that uh, Simon Cowell liked me. So that <laughs> helped. Because when I did it the first time, the whole world was like, you know, he hates comedy. He doesn't laugh. He's not funny. And then when I got there, he was like, I love you. And I'm like, oh. Oh, I like it here. So it made it easier to come back the second time around. That mm -hmm. is such a huge compliment. Yeah. Now, yeah. what is the audience like on America's Got Talent? Because obviously they're seeing so many different types of acts. Is that is that audience a lot different than an audience that is showing up specifically for a comedy show? I truly think that every audience comes from the same exact places. The same people who go to the, the Hollywood Improv or the Laugh Factory, they want to go to a taping of anything funny. People who want to be around funny will seek out tickets to go to a show that the people are competing and doing everything. So I think the audiences that I perform in front of are always the same. There is mostly women. That's primarily my fan base between like 18 and 80. I don't really have an age group. <laughs> so I think people who want to hear what I, what I talk about all the time, they come to see that. And AGT has an audience who they're warmed up before you start. They knew what they, they, they they're, they're huge fans. I mean, cult fans of the show. So when they come to the show, they're like, we don't care what you do. We're just so happy to be here. <laughs> so <laughs> that's what it's like. Well, yeah. since Springfield's about to be your audience, what do you want to say to the people that could come out and see you at Blue Room, Room Comedy, Comedy? Club this yeah. weekend? Yeah. <laughs> you know, we had our first show last night, and I made a couple of women spit up their drink. So <laughs> I, want the, I want the girlfriends to get your girlfriends and your daughters and bring them and force your husbands and boyfriends to come because they learn way more than they want to. <laughs> and that's the point. And if I can get a group of a bachelorette party to throw up their drinks on site and <laughs> snort and pee a little bit, then I'm doing a great job. <laughs> I like that plan, yeah. Jackie. Jackie, that's amazing. Well, hey, thank you so much for joining us here on Ozarks Live. And make sure to get your tickets to see Jackie this weekend right here in Springfield at Blue Room Comedy Club. Thank you, Jackie. Thank you guys so much. Take care. You too.